All right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking this morning, where the United States has confirmed that President Donald Trump has indeed received the invitation to be the chief guest at India's Republic Day. Now, India has invited Donald Trump to be the chief guest at its 69th annual Republic Day celebrations next year. However, the White House Press Secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, has said that a final decision over the invitation is yet to be taken. Now, if Donald Trump were to accept the invitation, then Donald Trump will only be the second U.S. president after Barack Obama, who in the year 2015 had been the chief guest at India's Republic Day Parade. Uh, I know that the invitation has been extended, but I don't believe a final decision has been made. I do know that both uh, Secretary Mattis and Secretary Pompeo will be traveling to India, I believe it's next month, uh, and will begin uh, the dialogue and the process and potential discussion for a presidential visit later in the year. So that was Sarah Huckabee Sanders there confirming that an invite indeed has been extended to Donald Trump to be the chief guest for the Republic Day Parade celebrations. And for more on this, we're joined in by our correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, who's been tracking the developments very, very closely. Good morning to you, Sidhan. Now, this, this, of course, is an interesting sort of a diplomatic outreach where India is seeking to strengthen its ties with the United States and thereby has extended an invitation to Donald Trump to be our chief guest for the Republic Day celebrations. Yes, uh, this also shows growing closeness between India and uh, the U.S., but uh, it's interesting to note that the first uh, leader in uh, the Modi administration to come for the Republic Day Parade was an American president, and if indeed Donald uh, Trump uh, accepts the invitation, then he will be the the, uh, uh, the president who will be under this tenure of uh, uh, the Indian Prime Minister will be the last uh, leader to come for the Republic Day Parade. But by and large, it also shows the growing closeness, and as uh, the the White House spokesperson says uh, 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 abiding relationship between both uh, New Delhi and Washington. And remember, uh, uh, last this week only a lot of things have happened, including STA being given uh, tier one STA being given to uh, New Delhi by Washington, which uh, reduces the bureaucratic hurdles when it comes to getting dual-use technology from Washington, uh, technologies uh, such as space technologies, uh, technologies which uh, can be used in both uh, uh, civilian and in defense purposes. And uh, in September, we will be uh, uh, going for that big 2 plus 2 dialogue between the foreign ministers and the defense ministers here in New Delhi, something that was postponed uh, twice. And this time, it's going to happen with a lot of things in focus. There are two basic concerns. Concern. One, of course, uh, sanctions on Iran, and mm -hmm. another sanctions on Russia. Russian sanctions impact India because India gets a lot of its defense from Russia. And with Chabar, we have a crucial port uh, which is being developed. The Chabar port uh, sanctions on uh, Iran means that this port can be impacted and that can impact India's connectivity projects uh, till, uh, till Central Asia and uh, beyond. Absolutely indeed. And also considering the fact, Sidhan, that uh, Barack Obama had been our chief guest for the Republic Day Parade celebrations in 2015. And we've also had the SARC leaders and other leaders who were part of Republic Day Parade celebrations as chief guests. So how, how significant is, is this invite that's now been extended to Donald Trump? It's, of course, significant because Donald Trump is a person who, who uh, you either love him or hate him. He's a person who has changed the world, uh, uh, whether good for, or whether bad, only history will tell. But uh, if you look at India inviting uh, leaders in past four years, uh, India has invited all the 10 ASEAN leaders this year only, which was unprecedented in the history of India because all 10 leaders were there at the podium. India has invited UAE, with which India has growing relationship, Barack Obama and other leaders which uh, if you look at the entire foreign policy of India, is India growing ties with Middle East, India is growing ties with uh, uh, ASEAN countries, help, help, help India. But uh, right. with America, there has been special focus when it comes to defense, when it comes to trade. And uh, as I told you, contentious issues such as uh, sanctions on Russia, sanctions on Iran, something that worries India's foreign policy because uh, if uh, that gets uh, uh, in trouble, India, India can obviously uh, suffer. So that India would like to explain to its American partners when it comes to uh, sanctions right. done and Russia.